Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna make a review of a really small tiny light. This is the Marfak Muan Sport LED. Lights, camera, sound, action. So my reviews like always will be divided in four parts. The introduction, the good, the bad and the conclusion. In the conclusion I will share some creative tips with this light. By unboxing the Mirfak Muan Sport LED we can see that we have the quick starting guide. Also I have here some colored filters, well it's not exactly colder filters the name of this. Colored filters is when it is in the camera. When it is in the light it's actually called gels. But uh, let's go with colored filters. A very weird USB charging cable, more on that later. Sphere softbox and a filter holder. If you want the additional color and the sphere softbox, those ones are sold separately. Okay, just to recap, if you only buy the light, it will come with the filter holder, a softener, a softener filter, let's call it like this, a white filter, and also the USB charging cable. Okay? By releasing the One Sport LED, I did realize that Mirfak lost a big opportunity to make a lot of people happy by using a useless screw. Okay, let me just get it. So on the box it came with this screw that honestly you can't do nothing with this. But if instead they give you this thing, that means a um, hot shoe adapter to one fourth screw that is really really handy for all filmmakers and photographers and uh, actually the people that will use that light it would be really really nice so those things are very handy because all cameras have cold shoes on it on the top so yeah here is the light itself the Moan Sport LED a waterproof battery powered light and temperature controllable video light and that is the keyword video light okay not only a light a video light so a lot of LEDs have a big problem on camera they flicker and video lights LED video lights doesn't have that a real video light like this moi moi I am saying it in French moi sport LED that doesn't happen so it has just one button you turn it around and here we go and let's just press the button so now uh, let's wait a little bit oh, come on now it's on it's on but it's not on it just is on okay to turn on the light you have to press by three seconds on the back there we go and three seconds to shut it down there we go but it's still on well then if you press less than three seconds it actually changes like random color temperatures now you must be wondering why just turn on and no on on the light because it has bluetooth magic on this thing so if you have this light you really have to use this app you can change the light temperature and brightness very easily check the battery and so on and that is a big thing for me because uh, let's be honest I, I am losing using here this uh, uh, light panel here as a um, sideways light and I am using this really big battery and I never know how much juice I have in this battery so it's nice to have a cool app to know how much battery I have left on this puppy also change the light settings as you prefer like the power off on standby and other things as super bright mode the amount of light is mind-blowing for something so small but the battery will dry very fast and it will radiate a lot of heat at least it what they say because I never felt that much heat well a lot of energy consumption more power and heat that sounds like overclocking it's overclocking yeah okay you have a overclockable LED light 
How cool is that? And the bonus, you can, on this app, write Morse code. Well, everyone, let's see that on action. So, I have the app open here. I'm not laid properly for this scenery, so let's try to do that. So, uh, the first thing that I notice is I am way too bright, so I'm gonna reduce a little bit, like so. And now I'm gonna reduce the color blue a little bit. I match, actually I'm gonna just turn it off. That, there we go. Maybe I'm a little bit too bright and actually there is a tint of blue there, like so. There we go, now I match the scenery. How awesome and simple is that? On the top of the button, this is the charging port. But this port is magnetic. Not for security like uh, the old uh, MacBooks that uh, if you push by accident the cable, the laptop won't fall. No, that is designed to hold the weight of the Mirfak Moasport LED and then some, because it's a really powerful uh, magnet that you have here. I see this very useful, but let me just um, show you what I'm on about. I may recall you that most filmmaking gear, it's non-magnetic material. No. And what about light stands? Okay. No. A boomstick. No, no, no. Still, you can attach this on a lot of stuff, like my smartphone. I use sheets of metal between my, my phone and the cover so I can use it as a GPS when I am traveling in the car. How cool is this? The microphone, it's... it's getting a bit annoying. So, the good. It's a very powerful light if you need to. But in normal use, its battery lasts very long. So, look at this. 2% of brightness and using the basic white filter, like this one over here, is more than enough to fill me with my handycam in darkness and the battery will hold up to 10, ye 10 years, no, 10, 10 hours. <laughs> Very impressive for a thing so small and it's 76 grams. I have to talk about the simple and easy to use app. It's so easy to use it and if the smartphone goes out of reach, the light just does what was doing before lost connection. Smart. And finally the price. It is $69. Which sounds expensive, but if you make a search on Amazon or B&H or whatever, underwater lights or underwater whatever is expensive. I am not joking. $59 is actually very cheap. If you wanted to go cheaper, just use the sun and put it underwater or something. So I have to admit some problems. The filter holder, for example, it's based friction to be unlocked. So which seems good enough until you take it underwater. I'm sure that I can lose this underwater if I move it hard enough. Just don't use it underwater. Another problem is this button. It's so hard to press. Really, you really have to hammer down on that button. If you are using just one hand to turn it on and off, I really have to press it really hard and hold it really hard for three seconds to turn this on. Come on, really? Um, and to turn it off, like, again. I don't know if it's necessary to be this difficult or this hard to press this button, but there you go. I found something that is magnetic. Handler, holder or whatever this. Some film gear are magnetic metal. So the button it's very hard to press it. And if it's mounted in some gear that you need to press the button, pressing thing should be just easy like cluck. Okay? Not just this thing that Another negative thing, it's the build quality. Actually, it's quite a good quality, but it's plasticky. Not backlit plastic, the good plastic, uh, the strong plastic, but plastic. Not heavy metal, but lightweight 
plastic. Honestly, if it was um, metal, I don't know if I would like it because it would be heavy. And for underwater stuff, mm, that doesn't convince me. So... Plastic! Charging USB cable. This is the good old type A connection. And the other side is whatever is this side. It's not actually a standard thing, okay? I know it's magnetic and this entry should be waterproof, but if I lose this cable, I have to order again for Murphic again. And this is transition to the last negative point. At the recording of this video, this light is only available on the site of Murfax website. Maybe that's why they are more cheaper than the competition? Okay, I love 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 this powerful little light LED. Okay, it has a few problems, uh, at least at my point of view, but for me it's my favorite light right now. The simple use of the Moan Sport LED and the power that it has makes it one of the lights that I always will bring with me. Another cool thing that you can do is play with the color temperature. Here I will push the light up to 3200 Kelvin, so I will be warmer than all around me, giving a more Hollywood action movie mood. And if you use the color gel and some color gradient knowledge, boom, you can get really strange stuff. Another thing that I'm thinking is, the, with this color uh, gels, I think also would be cool to make light painting. As you can see, I have a bunch of ideas for videos for this YouTube channel using this light. And what about a live stream while I am photographing the Milky Way? How cool would be that? I can't confirm anything, but I would love to do this. Well everyone, here we have it, the really small but really powerful Marvac Moan Sport LED. Drop a like if you learned something, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I am Miguel, until next time, see ya. But as you can see it's raining, it's not a big problem because that camera it's uh, waterproof, uh, this light it's waterproof, and I am... Uh, uh, weather sealed, let's call that weather sealed.